rock music, and especially progressive rock music, has had such a huge influence. Um, uh, specifically, uh, Genesis, Yes, Rush. Um, you know, because even though the term ambient um, came around, you know, 1980 or so when Brian Eno put out his ambient albums, I, I would say prior to that term being used, there were all kinds of examples of what I would call ambient music in uh, progressive rock music. And there's the the uh, the introduction to Xanadu by Rush, which is this very long. Uh, kind of drone-based ambient music with guitar harmonics and synthesizer and nature sounds. Um, there's the middle section of uh, Awaken by Yes, which is this beautiful long uh, ambient track for like tuned percussion, guitar, a church organ. Um, and then there's the, 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 int the introduction to uh, Duchess by Genesis, uh, which is this gorgeous piece of ambient music, one of the best pieces of ambient music I, I think there, there is. Even though I didn't go into progressive rock or even rock music as my, as my creative medium, uh, I would say that progressive rock had a huge influence on me. Um, you know, not only in terms of like their approach to instrumentation and, and bringing in unusual instruments and influences from classical music, um, but you know, specifically like the, the, their approach to rhythm and Tunnel of Light. Uh, the rhythm tracks for that for that uh, piece were, were heavily influenced um, by Neil Peart specifically, um, and I, I think I can trace that back to um, you know going to see Rush uh, a couple years ago, and you know Neil Peart in his uh, in his legendary drum solos that he does. He there's a section where he's always playing on. Um, electronic uh, drum pads rather than regular drums and this particular solo that he did a couple years back he had instead of drum sounds programmed into his uh, electronic drum pads he had like industrial factory sounds that were sampled in and so as he was playing this gradually more complex rhythm it just sounded like this factory uh, in motion and I, I you know I remember seeing that and just being completely blown away by it and and that definitely had a huge impact on my approach to the rhythm tracks for Tunnel of Light. Because the the theme of that piece was uh, you know traveling by car I first started out by um, collecting car sounds like um, you know, keys in the ignition, uh, car doors closing, the hood closing, uh, hydraulics on a, on a hatchback. And I took all those sounds into my studio and then chopped them up and processed them and filtered them and used them in place of what would normally be, you know, like regular, like kind of predictable drum sounds. What I was trying to create with Tunnel of Light was this, just the feeling of exhilaration of travel. Like when you're first setting off on a journey and you sit, you, you, you hopped into your car, you started the engine uh, without knowing exactly where you're headed. The idea is that you're just kind of shooting through this tunnel into the unknown.